We are Skyforger, and you are watching Blitzkrieg! Peter and I'm singer and uh, guitarist. My name is uh, Edgar Sor Mazais and I'm drummer of Sky Fortune. I'm Edgar, Edgar Bogabowski. My nickname is Horse. I'm playing bass guitar in Sky Forger. My name is Egons and also I play guitar in Sky Forger. Maybe uh, because we he was one of the right I can probably say the bands who started at, uh, many times back when this movement started. And uh, I think, you know, the culture we are presenting, it's different. And this uh, folk motives and we introduce it's a little bit different <coughs> in our view, of course. And I think uh, the music we play, it's, uh, let's say, different from um, mainstream big and folk music which is going on now uh, with, with I think we are not so how to say not for everyone you know, just for the people who like that style of what we do I mean yeah we, we were actually one of the first bands who started you know this hidden hidden things and pagan and stuff there are actually besides us maybe like two or three bands uh, besides us, and uh, well, our culture actually is culture is based on you know all this paganism and stuff. So uh, we live with that. You know, all, our life was actually full of it. Yeah, yeah f full of hidden stuff, and uh, so that's why maybe we are something you know different than other. Yeah, we, we take it really seriously, you know, dig deep in all these things, and it's not just... It's uh, not for fun, yeah, and it's just for fun, just... It's because, uh, for example, history, it's uh, just like a big hobby of my life. I started to read the books about history, and I have interested in from when I was a child. Not uh, only medieval times, just, you know, all the history since, you know, I'd say till the, our present days, you know. Yeah, and I, this is a thing I love so much and I want to express it in music and I, you know, <coughs> it, uh, it goes into my lyrics and everything I, I've written about it, always there's some facts behind it, it's not just a story, you know, about... Uh, some fairy tales. Okay, we have some album about <laughs> made on fairy tales, but uh, it's all serious, you know. It's mean for me something. It's uh, not just beers, beer and horns and let's go. <laughs> we want to bring our culture uh, to be known here in Europe because we was part of Europe from all from all the old times, from very old times. And there was. Germans, Gallic tribes, and there was Baltic tribes, Slavonic tribes. We was there, and uh, only because we was so many years and ages occupied by the different big countries, our culture is unknown now here. And in many books, when you read about the you know, Middle Ages of Europe, you almost not seen anything mentioned about uh, ancient Balts and all this culture we have. So we try to, with our music and lyrics, bring it uh, out our borders, and that's why it's serious for us. Now we have our you know, in the beginning we even don't thought about it. Because yeah, there, there wasn't, you know, so big, big much trouble with this uh, swastikas and uh, stuff because in our country, yeah, in our country, because you know, so, you know, everybody knows what does it mean, you know, and it's everywhere, yeah, it's just uh, yeah. part, part 
of nation, national science, it's a part of culture, it's everywhere. On the bells, you see, there, there are houses. So that was a problem we met when we started to play behind the border. But uh, you know, mostly in Germany. Yeah, mostly. We, are, we are not too much into this uh, European metal culture. We was from a country aside, which was some, at some time under the Soviet Union. So we didn't know how things is going here and what the problems people really have here. So we are somehow from a side, you know. It's for us, it's hard to say about other bands. It's a, maybe it's a just this thing which is here in Germany, especially with Antifa and that movement, and they pick on bands because they use these runes and swastikas and just sing about Vikings. At some point, it, it's a, we see this as pro, it's a problem for us too, but you know. You Have know you been? Why. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's a uh, 21 century, it's uh, almost cosmopolitica, and when you see and look around, there is almost no old traditions left like there was before. Uh, today, it's just the shows. You just came and see the show of how it was in olden times. And so this is seizing away. And at some point, I think the people still want, uh, still want, you know, this own national identity to save it somehow. And I think we just uh, put mostly, the it's uh, mostly like all the celebrations. For example, like Christian, you know, this Saint Valentine's Day uh, in, I mean, uh, that's cool thing. Uh, in those times, that some something was behind that, you know, not just you know buying uh, candies, you know, and just giving you know flowers to girls, you know, something was behind. And also these all the pagan celebrations, everyone you know do that. Everyone is lucky of holidays, but no one uh, think what what is beside that, you know. That's different. O only old people, you know, are uh, no, no more something about that. Young people don't care, they just care about, you know, celebrations and party and stuff, you know. Uh, for uh, Latvia, you know, it was uh, known for all times. Uh, all these national things and Soviet Union, it was, you know, uh, thing which keep the our nation together and uh, help it to survive the people uh, take it you know as a silent resistance against the Soviet regime so it was known there the people who wanted to, to keep this together they knew already about these things and when the uh, Soviet uh, Union collapsed this was the main thing with the, which put all the Latvian people together, this na national things and folklore and all this stuff. So at those times it was really big. All people was excited about this and of course it's, uh, you know, affected us too. And then we just, before we just played some dead to metal and then we discovered that oh, this is something, this is ours. And that would be maybe a good idea to put it in our music, even it's metal. In the first time, we was really afraid that people just laugh about, even in our country, when they see us, you know, in the national costumes and all this stuff and melodies. But it didn't happen. <laughs> Everyone was it's going like, crazy and guys, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, so this is how it started. <laughs> 